Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the ancient world. Me me today we're going to talk about Mesopotamia and the ancient world. Mesopotamia was found in the Fertile Crescent, which is now present-day Iraq, which is in Europe, or around Europe. And, and so here is, and the Fertile Crescent is called the Fertile Crescent because it is shaped like a crescent moon and is called fertile because most of the farmers used used to farm there because it was the most fertile soil. Here's a here I'm here to talk to you about a few tips and a few fun facts about the ancient world and a few of the projects. So here's one of the cards. It's a Mesopotamia card. It Mesopotamia is very fun to learn about, and I think that that since it was the very first civilization, it is very fun to learn about, even though it was the very first. Mesopotamia means land between the rivers, and here's a very fun fact that I just learned: that hippo, that potamus comes from potamia, so a hippo. Hippopotamus means river horse. Here's a few other cards. Here's the here are the Sumerians. Here's the Sumerian card. They they were a very smart. They were very smart and they invented clay tablets like this one right here. Oh. So so you can make it clay tablets with air dry clay and flathead screwdrivers by just punching in different symbols that you make up or you can buy a cheat sheet on them. And then there's the Nile River towns that you could learn about. And we learned and here is wait, there's a project where you're able to actually make your own Nile River and plant grass seed as the crops. You just pour you just find some rocks, put them in and put some two sheets of tin foil in a tin foil pan and then flood the river and when there's grass seed and these this bed of these beds of dirt and then like five or six days after that, the grass should soon be up. We had it probably five. And we also learned that the ancient Egyptians, they would make papyrus. So, so here's a fun way to make papyrus sheets. First, you just take a normal piece of paper, then you crumple it over and over until it looks very lumpy, but it's but is also oh shorter than the, pe the normal piece of paper that you started with. Then you take a black marker or what, or any kind of ink drawer, and you can put it and put on different symbols that you've made up. You can make up, or you can use a cheat sheet to copy the ancient Egyptian Egyptian writing and so after that you could barely tear it but make it look very old by tearing it a little and then you can put it in a pot of coffee grounds to make it look very old and it'll smear the ink so that's how it's very hard for people now to figure out what the Egyptians were like when they switched from stone to papyrus. One of the other things we did was once we were learning about history and what history is, we made our own family history books. It has year, it has year life and then your whole family's life. So your grandparents and your great grandparents and and your mom and dad and and it just has Here's mine. You, 
there's more like there's more to it that you have to fill out like your marriage date and pictures, but you and your children's names, what you're gonna what you might call what you call your children, but since you might not be old enough to do that, fill that up. Um, just leave it, um, and it'll have your grandparents and your brothers and sisters, and then it'll have your birth date, your city, state, and country of birth, and your mom and dad's names, and then at the very top, you write your full name, and then here's the brothers and the brothers and sisters you have that you can write down, and and where did you live, and what was your house like, what was your school like, and what was your favorite memory. And since we're talking about the ancient world, I found a few books. And there are a few books that I thought you, would re you should read so about, uh, read so you know more about what you're learning about. This one is called The Oxford Children History of the World, The Ancient World by Neil Grant. You can buy them or pick them up at your library. And here's the other one. Here's another one. It's called The Kingfisher Book of the Ancient World. And it's by it's by Hazel Mary Marshall. And so hopefully you Hopefully you find this year very interesting, and thanks for watching. What has been your favorite part about week one? What was your favorite thing to learn about? I think my favorite one was probably Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia? And what was your favorite project to do? I would think it was the clay tablets. You enjoyed the clay tablets? Great.